Cool. Uh, 1122, relative sort away. Given two arrays, oh, one and R2, array one and array two, the elements of array two are distinct, and all elements in array two are also in array one. So the elements of array one such that the relative are in the same array. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you just sort one by a, a second array. That's uh, pretty straightforward, I think. I mean, I'm going to, I mean, you could actually probably use like, what's it called, index or something like that, and then sort by that. I'm actually going to even cache that by using a mapping thing. Um, yeah. And then just sort by that key, right? I think that's... Oops. Uh, and then now, all, uh, all elements that don't appear should be placed at the end of all one in ascending order. Okay, I mean, that's also still not bad. Uh, that's like a get or three, right? Yeah, okay, what's the biggest number? A thousand? Okay. So then I would do something like index. Uh, I'll give you a little lambda. X is equal to mapping set X. Or I can get, get X, uh, and the default is just a thousand plus. X. Does that make sense? Oh, make, let's make it ten thousand. Just in case, it should be okay. I think a thousand might have some edge case issues, but uh, oh, they, they don't have more cases. Okay, well let's just submit it. Okay, cool. Wow, I did one very quickly for once. <laughs> uh, but I think this. Uh, uh, can, I'm just trying to think whether you could do this in C++ as easy. I mean, because you have to do, I, I guess you could have written an anonymous function there, but I'm not familiar with that syntax as much in C++ because in general, I don't use anonymous functions, I suppose. But um, cool. I mean, I think this is straightforward to understanding. It's just writing a sort function or uh, which, uh, I mean, obviously, you could write a comparator function or a key function, which is what I end up doing in Python, where the key is just a mapping of the index on uh, the second array, which, uh, uh, I mean, and you could do this in, uh, and obviously, this is, oh, well, I guess let me move the mouse, but this is all of n extra space you, to, uh, to to save time, but you could clearly do it in uh, all of one extra space and all of n key lookups or something like that. Um, and then I just do this thing here in the end to fudge it so that if X is not in the mappings, then just, you know, it, it just has a bigger value, so it sorts it near the end uh, and sorted by X in that case as well. Uh, cool. I mean, I think sorting problems are relatively fair game, I would say, for uh, for interviews. Uh, I mean, maybe not as messy as this, but, uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, I mean, this isn't that much, I think. But usually, I think I've definitely seen them where they're like, oh, here's a couple of type of objects sorted by uh, these fields, uh, and then type of is by other fields, and so forth. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is fine too. I mean, I think, like I said, literally, I did it in less than four minutes, so I think this is pretty good and good for me. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's anything hard to understand. Let me know if there's anything hard. But to understand, I mean, cool.